Hi guys, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, we are going to solve a very important problem, the rod cutting problem using dynamic programming. This problem is often asked in the interviews of some of the big tech giants. So this is very important. Therefore, I urge you to watch this video till the end until I tell you about the algorithm as well as the time complexity. Before moving on to the problem, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos of dynamic programming. Now let's jump on to the problem right away. So we have a rod, a rod of length 5. Now the problem is to cut it into smaller pieces and the length of those smaller pieces is going to be less than 5. And there is value assigned to each of these individual pieces. So we need to cut the rod of length 5 into such pieces so that when we go when we go to the market and sell these pieces we get the maximum value from the market so let's say if uh, rod of length 5 is broken down into two pieces of one of them is length of length 1 and another one is of length 4 then the value which i am going to get from the market is 10 Similarly, if the rod of length 5 is broken down into two pieces of length 2 and one piece of length 1, then the value which I am going to get from the market is 11. So, we need to find out what is the best possible combination for which I get the maximum value from the market. So, in this matrix, the first row contains the length lengths of the individual pieces and the second row contains the values assigned to each of those pieces. So the solution to this particular this specific problem is 30 as you can see and uh, on the screen and uh, you can see that this 13 is being formed uh, by cutting the rod of length 5 into one rod of length 2 and uh, another rod of length 3. So we are going to find 13. We are going to calculate 13 in our solution as in our in our setup as the final solution. As I already told you that uh, this problem was uh, asked in the interviews of uh, some big tech companies and uh, Google and Amazon uh, have been the companies in which this problem has been asked again and again. That is why it's a very important problem. So here we are at the setup of our uh, solution. We have this matrix. Now I have been telling you in my other videos that I always focus on finding the pillars of the problem. So here one of the pillars is the uh, final rod of length 5. So each step to 5 is going to form as the columns of this matrix. And another pillar is the length of the individual pieces. So we have individual pieces of uh, different lengths and uh, we have values assigned to them. So the individual pieces are going to form the rows of this matrix. Now uh, we have also uh, 0th uh, row and 0th column because uh, they represent the 0th state. So we'll start from here. So can in any universe a rod of length 0 can be broken down into a piece of uh, 0? No. So we will assign 0 here. So also a rod of uh, length 1 cannot be broken into any piece of length 0. So this is also going to be 0. Similarly, all these cells, based on the similar logic, all these cells are going to be 0. Now we'll come to this piece of length 1. So, in no universe can a rod of length 0 be broken down into 
an individual piece of length 1. It doesn't make sense. So this is going to be 0. But we know that this is going to be 0. How the algorithm will know? The algorithm is going to simply populate the value from here in this cell. Simple. Now, over here we move to this one. Now, a rod of length 1 can be broken down into a piece of length 1. Can it? Yes. So, we have, if we have only a rod of length 1 and if we are given a condition that yes, there is only one piece of length 1. So, find out the maximum possible value. The maximum possible value is going to be nothing but 1. And these are the values which I have uh, uh, placed here just for better understanding because we are going to be using them. So, this one is going to be populated over here. But how the algorithm is going to know that? The algorithm, what the algorithm is going to do, it's going to subtract this one from this one. So, the result is going to be 0. So, from here, it's going to come one step back here. And to this 0, it is going to add 1 and thus we'll get the value 1. So, this will become one of the solutions of the of this sub problem. But there is another solution which exists and which comes from here. So, this is the solution to a sub problem when the length of the rod is 1 and given we have only a piece 0 which does not make sense hence it is 0 but out of these two we are going to choose the maximum uh, maximum value that means the greater value will be populated here. So, out of 0 and 1, 1 is greater hence 1 will be populated here. Now, let us move to 2. So, can a rod of length 2 be broken down into pieces of length 1? Yes, two pieces of length 1 are going to give the value 2 when we are going to sell it in the market. It is very easy. So, what we are going to do? 1 subtracted from 2. So, we are going to get 1 step back over here. This represents the optimized solution of this sub problem when the length of the rod is 1 and we only have piece 1. And to this optimized solution, we will add this value. So, it will give us the op one of the optimized solutions for the value for the rod of length 2 which is going to be 2. This 2 will be compared against this 0 because 0 represents also one of the optimized solutions when the rod is of length 2 and the piece is of length 0 but since 2 is greater than 0 hence 2 will be populated here. So, this will make more sense when I am going to explain you a couple of uh, uh, more sub problems down the line. So, let us move ahead to 3. So, 1 subtracted from 3 is going to bring us to 2. So, I am going to get one step back over here to this 2. I am going to add this 1 because this is the value of this piece and thus I will get 3. 3 is greater than 0 hence 3 stays. Similarly, 4 will be populated here and 5 will be populated here. Now, this value over here is going to be 0, it is going to be taken from here because in no universe we can break down a, record, a rod of length 0 into a piece of into pieces of length 2. And similarly, let us populate all of these cells as zeros. So, this won't trouble us anymore. Now, over here, a rod of length 1 cannot be broken into any piece of length 2 because we have already seen that the uh, length of the smaller pieces has to be greater than the mean length. That is why we are calling it smaller, right? So, what, what the algorithm is going to do? It is going to pick the value from the cell above and populate it over here. Moving on to this 2, the algorithm is going to subtract this 2 from this 2. So, that will give it the signal to find its optimized solution here. We can also tell, we can also say that it is like moving 2 steps back and 0 plus 5 is going to give us 
5 over here this 5 will be compared against 2 but since 5 is greater hence we are going to put 5 in this cell over here 2 will be subtracted from 3 that means that we need to go two steps back over here 1 plus 5 is going to be 6 since 6 is greater than 3 hence 6 stays so 6 is the optimized solution of the sub problem when we have a rod of length 3 and pieces 1 and 2. So how 3 is getting calculated why we are uh, uh, going two steps back is it's because if I subtract 2 from 3 I get 1. So I have already the optimized solution calculated when the length of the rod is 1 and I have pieces 1 and 2. To this optimized solution if I add the value of this piece 5 then I will be getting one of the optimized solutions when the rod is of length 3. So it is simple logic and it will make complete sense when you practice it. So also this 3 is also one of the candidates of the optimized solution because it represents the solution when the rod is of length 3 but we only have a piece of length 1 that means that this rod 3 can only be broken into length of piece 1 so we are going to compare it because values can be different hence this number can be bigger than this number coming from the left and it will happen in this solution so wait and watch so over here we move to this 4 I subtract 2 from this 4 uh, we'll get over here I add 5 to this 5 I'll get 10 10 when compared with 4 is going to give me 10 only because it's greater over here uh, 2 subtracted from 5 that means going 2 steps back to this 6 I add 5 I get 11. 11 is greater than 5 so I get 11. Now we come to this row which is represented by the piece of length 3. Since 1 is uh, less than 3 and 2 is also less than 3 hence uh, the values from the cells above will be copied. Now this 3 subtracted from this 3 will bring me here that means 3 steps back over here to this 0 I add 8 I get 8 over here now this 8 is uh, greater than this 6 hence 8 stays now this 3 subtracted from 4 so 3 steps back to this one I add 8 so I get 9 as the value now take a look over here this 9 is less than 10 so this is the magic of uh, values being different so it's not in ascending order so a smaller piece can have a bigger value that's how the market works rod market works so see 10 is greater than 9 so 10 stays why we are choosing the greater value because we are after the maximum possible value we need to obtain the maximum profit from the market right uh, 3 we move to this 5 now 3 subtracted from 5 that means 3 steps back I come over here to this 5 I add 8 I get 13 since 13 is greater than this solution which is 11 13 stays now over here since 4 is greater than 1 2 3 so all these values from the top will be copied here now check this out this 4 subtracted from this 4 that means going 4 steps back I land at this cell to this I add 9 I get the value as 9 now take a look at this this 9 is less than 10 again so 9 gets omitted and 10 gets populated this represents the optimized solution when the length of rod is 4 and we have pieces 1 2 3 and 4 to the last cell let's move on to the last cell so we have 5 over here I subtract 4 from 5 that means 4 steps back till here to this one I add 9 I get 10 over here but this 10 is less than 
13. So 13 gets populated over here and 10 gets omitted and like I told you 13 is the solution to this rod cutting problem over here and it will be populated in the last cell and there it is for you. Now we are going to do a little bit of backtracking to find out what are the exact lengths of the rods of the smaller piece pieces which are forming 13. So like uh, you already know that it is going to come out as 3 and 2. So let's see how we are going to find it. So the back uh, tracking is uh, very simple. So just, just uh, watch this. So this 13 is coming from this 13. So we are going to set up a trail. Now this 13 is coming from this pipe because 3 subtracted from 5 that means 3 steps back to this 5 we added 8 so I am going to set up a trail till here and whenever a particular solution is coming from the left that means that particular component has been used you can think it yourself and you are going to realize eventually why I am saying this so 3 becomes one of the components over here I am going to write 3 now this 5 is coming from this 5 so let me set up the trail and this 5 is not coming from here but this 5 originated from here to this 0 we added 5 and thus we got 5 because 2 subtracted from 2 goes 2 steps back and thus 2 becomes part of our solution and whenever our backtracking reaches the 0th column it stops and hence we get our components as 2 and 3 which you already know. So here is the algorithm if uh, j is greater than equals equal to i so j represents the length of the uh, individual pieces or the individual pieces index and i is the step to the final rod then mij that means our matrix cell is going to be maximum of either value of i plus mij minus 1 so this is the component from the left calculated going steps back thing or mi minus 1j that means the value from the cell above else if it is not greater than if j is not greater than or equal to i then the value from the top is populated in the concerned cell so i am sure that this algorithm is making sense to you now with all that explanation the time complexity of uh, this particular dynamic programming problem of rod cutting is going to be o within braces n raised to the power so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you have learned ro the rod cutting problem i'll see you in the next video of uh, joey's tech thank you so much